Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to be telling you exactly what I'm looking for next, my current trades bias and how I'm approaching this market. This is going to be a really positive video for you. We're going to be approaching this with a lot of passion, a lot of love and the main reason you're watching this video of course is to understand what is happening right now and exactly how you can then be looking to profit on the next moves on this Bitcoin chart. That's my mission of this video. I want to educate you explaining the last 24 hours of price action so you really understand what went on there so you can then implement that knowledge and context of how to trade profitable, <laughs> profitably of what is to come next. You are not here for your English lessons, you are here for a trading lesson and let's start that. <laughs> let's get straight into it, right? Picking up where I left off my last video, while we were trading around $28,000, right? We had just seen the swing failure pattern of the low, Moving on to the third touch setup, we of course had millions and millions of trap shorts and big bullish CVD divergences down here. Okay, at that range low, we had took those long trades. And again, one thing that I want to emphasize to you, when we're taking any type of trade, be it long or short, what is the main thing? How we have confidence in those trade setups when they're there, how we don't get fearful and scared to take a trade when it's in front of our eyes. It's by having a plan, by having a plan fresh, you know, feeling good, having the confidence and knowing, hey, I was planned for this scenario. And of course, that is what we were planned for a good week in advance, several different times talking about this long trade off of 26,600. You know, this is the benefits of, of course, being in the group where you get access to the trade setups, of course, before everybody else. But from start to finish, you know, if you want these setups, this is from the daily morning live trading update streams where we go over the charts and give our opinions. My opinion was we'll come down to 26,600 and this will be a very nice long trade setup of around that NPOC swing failure pattern off the low for a long trade setup, okay? Different scenarios, but we're looking at this to come to the NPOC before a rise back up to above $29,000. Well, we all know how this played out next, right? <laughs> we hit target, we got an SFB off the high. All very nice indeed. But I want to explain a little bit more detail for you here, exactly what went on in this section. Okay, so once again, we're aware of things of the swing fire pattern of the range high. Just as we had seen swing fire pattern of the low, <laughs> well, of course, we've got to be aware of the swing fire pattern of the high. Understanding there's a breakout that will occur at some point on this chart, right? But now, this is the range, so let's trade the range until it breaks. Just as we could have broke this range low and headed to, you know, $25,000, we could have broke this range high and headed to $29,500, $30,000 dollars, right? But we got to be aware, before we can get those higher price targets, well, we got to not see a swing failure pattern or a failed auction of this range. And what happened next? Well, I just want to play a quick 30 second clip from the last YouTube video that I made. So we're all on the same page and understanding of exactly what I said we got to be looking for next. Let's just quick 30 second clip together. Explain why I'm not shorting here, why I really don't think we'll put in the lower high. I'm looking for higher. Of course, there's always the possibility that we put in another swing fire pattern of this high, just as we SFP here. We can be aware of an SFP here. Um, you know, it's obviously a great possibility. This is at the moment just range bound, right? Range low, range high, range low, range high, range low. Let's see if we can get up to range high. That's what I'd like to see. And then we'll either get another SFP or failed auction. So you can see here, I made it very clear my uh, bias and understanding. I'm not shorting here. I'm not going to get suckered into short positions early. I'm waiting for higher. I'm waiting for this swing failure pattern type scenario where we either see the failed auction or the swing failure pattern, and we simply just remain range bound, right? This is like just a scenario that I was very much aware of. And of course, what happened was we got a swing failure pattern. On a lower term time frame. of course, it looks more like a failed auction, but nevertheless, we had that setup where we come up above the range high, and then we got to, you know, be aware of that swing failure pattern. You can also see this group, this post inside my group, you know, keep a close eye on this swing fire pattern, sweet L failed auction of the range high. I am not shorting at the moment. While we're here, I'm not getting suckered into the short. I've got my clear biases, so we're going to get higher at, to at least $29,000, right, to take out that high for the SFP. Of course, we know what happened next. We did get that SFP, okay, and we did get, you know, a, a pullback. A few things that I want to now educate you on here before we move on to what is happening next. Really, really briefly, of course, we got the SFP and we did actually get a retest. 
You know, this was the scenario that I was looking at yesterday in the, uh, once again, the daily update streams, just like this was from our daily update stream. Of course, I've done a daily update stream yesterday. And in that daily morning update, <clears throat> we were retesting the value area low. And this was for me actually a, now a wrong decision or a poor decision that I made. I did make it very clear, the only trade set up here is a short. You cannot be longing up at the range high, or well, do whatever you want, it's not financial advice, but I would not be uh, longing up at the at the range high after we've just saw a swing fire pattern. So the only trade setup is a short, but I actually did not take the short on the retest. I did short the swing failure pattern, so I did short this SFP, but I did not then short the following retest. So this is where I can say I made an incorrect decision of not shorting the retest because that retest did actually bring us down in price. But I was, you know, making it clear that, you know, this is the short position if you want to take it. I'm personally not shorting this retest. I've got a short from the SFB. Uh, but in the end, that retest was the perfect short position, by the way. So just, you know, being transparent here, I'm not getting it right every single time. <laughs> you know, 10 wins, one loss, not too bad at all. Well, this isn't even really a loss, but a bad decision made of not shorting the retest. Just uh, FYI, I'm totally transparent and happy to say that. Uh, but yeah, we, of course, saw the swing failure pattern of the high what we were looking for, and then, well, really simply, we remain within this range. So you can see from here, high range high, range low, range high, range low, range low, range high. We've just seen an SFP of the range high. Well, let's look down towards range low, right? We've not broken out yet. We cannot look for higher targets until we break out of this range. This is simply the range that we're still trading right now, right? And then, well, we can now see when we add on a few levels to the charts, range low, range high, range low, range high, range low, and range high. And now here we've got a little bit of a pullback off of this. So what I'm gonna do is remove these two levels a second. I'm just gonna add back on some nice levels here. Of course, we're still aware of that value area low, right? Never really reclaimed this yet, okay? So within here locally, let's zoom down on a little bit of a lower term time frame. I'm coming down here onto the 30 minute chart for you all. So this morning, we obviously have continued to see a pullback. I'll just show you a few posts from them inside my group this morning. This is around 8 a.m., 8.30. Overnight, we had back tested the daily for another move to the downside. Okay, off this move to the downside, you know, I'm not longing yet. Okay, I'm still waiting for lower prices. And for me, that is off of the CC. Okay, so we come down the CC. It's like I said yesterday, the value area low lines up with around the CC. I'm not going to take any longs before we hit this level. For me, there's just as like I was saying when we were looking at the highs, you know, I'm not going to take a short here. I'm not going to get suckered into a short early. It's like telling my team, right? I'm not going to get suckered into a long early here. I need to see at least the CC zone hit because at the end of the day, we are just in a range. I'm not going to get suckered into any longs here. No, nope, I'm going to wait for lower and at least see the CC before I look for any longs. So this morning, you know, making my team aware of our CC level and we actually did come down and hit it. As you can see here, we actually come down and we hit this CC, okay? And this is the reaction off of this. And this is brings us up to where exactly where we are now. So we remain patient, we hit the CC. We got a pretty big, pretty nice bounce if you're a sculpt trader uh, as we come up into the VWAP, okay? And now that brings us exactly where we're up to now. And I did also tell my team, by the way, yeah, the VWAP is now tapped. We obviously at the time of trading slightly above it, but yeah, always a nice place to take profit one if you did long the, the CC tap, right? <clears throat> so that's enough talking about uh, what's happened here. Hopefully I've educated you well enough so you've truly understood my decisions, my biases, how this has come all about, and at the end of the day, how we simply are just range bound here. There's nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. It's like I said before, everybody looking for the extreme moves up and down, but if you just simply trade this range, you are making so much profits. You know, that's the one thing I wanna emphasize before I move on to what's next, you know. There's no need to think of a $100,000 Bitcoin or a $10,000 Bitcoin. We have an extremely profitable range to be trading right in front of our eyes. We don't need anything else at all. This right here is simplicity at its finest. And it's just keep it simple, right? Keep it simple. And there is really no way to be scared, fearful, uh, have anxiety or, or, you know, just all these emotions. It's, this is the range to trade. Trade the range until it breaks. SFP of the low? Well, then we get our long trade entries, right? SFP of the high? Well, then we get our short trade entries, right? So it's 
not overly difficult. We just need to trade the charts. Okay, so now I'm going to start to move on to what I'm looking at next. One quick announcement that I want to do. That's just a reminder of the CC pool, which is like our secondary channel. We're going to start uploading a lot to this channel. So take a quick minute out of your day and subscribe to our secondary channel, CC Pool. It's simply called CC Pool. This is where we're going to start uploading a lot more content, maybe more so than this primary channel. So make sure you're subscribed over to that one. This is going to be more of, you know, different type of video, not focused so much on trading, more of this like lifestyle, investing, real estate. Uh, we'll be trading and, and touching on trading, of course. I uh, will be touching on Bitcoin, our uh, banking situations, all that like real interesting topics of the moment, that's all gonna be uploaded, not even a secondary channel, just a, another channel that we've created called CC Pool, and that's the type of content we'll be going over. I think ne our next video will be literally like talking about Bitcoin versus the banks. So really interesting topics, and that's all gonna be on CC Pool. So head over there, and click the subscribe. And if you're feeling very generous, you can click the subscribe and the bell to receive all notifications on that channel too. And that's the only notification I wanted to do, CC Pool, <laughs> the secondary channel or the other channel where we're gonna be starting to upload a lot of content. So make sure you check that one out right now and <laughs> subscribe. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Now back over to the charts. So what we're looking at right now, well, really simply, um, well, as mentioned, we've currently bounced off of the lower CC. And this is, of course, if we're just simply remaining range bound, this range high, will we come down to range low, right? Range low currently around 26,500. Uh, but there are always levels where we could potentially reverse from, okay? So it's like here, for example, we come, and we see from high to low, okay? We see from high to low, price hits the CC and comes back down. So like the CC is of course a, a big level, I'm trying to emphasize here. Really simply Fibonacci high, low, CC wick, or we move down to the bottom of the range. I just want to make you aware of what could potentially happen when we take from the overall low of the range to high. You know, we come into the CC, of course, we can look, well, it's already got a bit of a reaction, right? We come into the VWAP, which is a, you know, in my opinion, a nice take profit one. So if we reverse from the CC and we reclaim the MPOC, uh, that's when we can be looking for above $29,000. You know, $29,500 next, $30,000 plus dollars. I'm, I'm happy to see that, right? Um, but this is our first important level. If we lose this, then we limply look down towards our next two levels to the low of the range. And this is just range bounds. I made you a question at the start of the video, like, is Bitcoin still bullish? Well, in my opinion, yes, because we haven't actually changed any market structure. This is still potentially still forming higher highs and higher lows. So I am not like ultra bearish at the moment. I still believe Bitcoin can push higher. I did take a short off of the SFP. I did not short the retest, but I did short the swing fair pattern, took take profit one off as we formed a lower term time frame reaction off of this low and then didn't compound on the retest. But nevertheless, as we're still maintaining market structure that is bullish, I'm, I'm more than happy to see this rotate to the bottom of the range. And of course, if we lose the bottom of the range, flip it into resistance, well, then I can start to change my biases, right? But for now, we're still range bound. We're still making higher highs and higher lows. The market structure is still intact and there's no reason for me to be turning ultra bearish yet. I will wait for a real reason of either one of two things. My higher targets, which are very high and strong targets get hit. My higher targets have still not been fully hit yet. So that's one reason why I would change bearish that my stronger higher targets are hit. Second reason that we actually break down from very important support and flip it into resistance. Well, if that's the case, then I can understand, okay, we've now broken important support. I got to start really approaching this market more bearishly. But while we are still within this range, really simply, I'm not going to be ultra bearish right now. We've got a range to trade in this range. I'm happy to take longs. I'm happy to take shorts and I'm happy to take intraday long and short positions too, right? So I'm not scared. I'm not fearful. I'm not euphoric and I'm not ultra bullish. I'm not a perma bull. I'm not a perma bear. I've got levels on my charts. I'm ready and waiting for the next trade setup. Okay, whether that's an intraday CC level or whether that's the top of the range for a short, or whether that's the low of the range for a long. I'm just marking out my levels, making myself and my team prepared and just having that plan set. I'm happy to long, I'm happy to short. I'm just here to make profits on this market. That's the name of the game that I'm here for and it's to extract profit from the market. I'm not here for X, Y, and Z reasons not to look good, not to do this, not to do that. It's, hey, this is the charts. These are their levels. Let's start trading. If you want to trade alongside me, well, you know where to do that. Chartchampions.com. You've got live streams every single day of the week, Monday to Friday. We get in there. We give you our opinions. We prepare you for what's to come. And well, then, of course, during the day as well, 
you've got the updates in the charts of our more you know lower term time frame sort of biases you could say making you aware of levels to be aware of lower the range higher the range you know these intraday cc levels if you want all of that information given to you then that's what you get at chartchampions.com of course the main focus is always going to be the education we don't want to be really handing you the fish we want to teach you how to fish so you can do this all yourself if you want to learn exactly how i do it well i'm, I'm putting in all my time and effort into doing that with you at Chart Champions. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. If we get over 2,500 likes, I will do a special altcoin video. So you know what to do if you wanna see an altcoin video. I know you wanna see it. I know we'll get more than 2,500 views. So just hit that like and I'll do that for you. A very special video indeed covering the altcoins and I'll even give you a setup. Uh, so yeah, that's to look forward to if you want it. And uh, in the meantime, yeah, go over and subscribe to the CC Pool channel where we're going to be uploading a lot more content into the future. That's me signing out. I'm just going to say that. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. I share my love. I share my passion. And that is trading. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.